<laughs> I never know who's gonna say it. <laughs> who's gonna say it? You go. Hey YouTube, what's up? Welcome we back to back. our channel. Yes. With some really good relational topics yes. to talk with you about. Yes. It's, it's actually been a while since we've talked about this I one. Know. But we're talking about interracial dating, obviously. We if you didn't know, we're different. We are a listen to Just a little bit. So what's your background? My background, I am from the islands of the Bahamas. I always, I always get mistaken for not being from there, but I'm from the islands of the Bahamas, island boy. Yeah, he's kind of masking from, where his are you accent. From? <laughs> yeah, I am. But where are you from? Um, and I am born and raised in Texas and with a Hispanic mother and a Caucasian father. Yes, and I am so, all island all the time. All but island anyway. all the time. So not only are we an interracial relationship, we are an international Couple. Internationally interracial, international, dating. interracial. <laughs> so we have, that means. we have all the things. So we've walked through a lot, and with interracial dating, we hear this all the time. There's so many people that have fears surrounding interracial dating, and because Lord knows that's we did. <laughs> what we want to address today. A few we, of those fears that come up. Exactly. But right before this, we were talking about we walk through the fire of fears and opposition and rejection so that we yes. could share the fire of truth with you guys. The fire of truth. We don't know what the fire of truth is, <laughs> the but apparently, fire apparently of truth that's what we're sharing. To encourage you in your yes. interracial relationship because you know it's the holiday season, right? Holiday season. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. For me, it's and too soon, honestly. He will too not soon. play Christmas music, nah. so he tells me too soon. Too soon. But on the DL, I'll be playing it. And yes. it's holiday season, which means, you know, you may have just started a relationship and you're already fearing the thought of holidays yes. and the gatherings and the parties yes. with family and friends. Because and you just found you a boo. Yeah, and you that may, don't look like you. And you may be fearing it because you don't, you might be the first one and you don't really know how to get the conversation started. But we're here for to you. To help you. And, and to just say, stop. Speaking of, that's a great segue into the first fear that people often have when they're interracially, interracially yeah. dating, if that's how you say it. And one that? is the fear of opinions opinions and these they can be opinions from other people but mostly family friends because in some situations you may be the first person that's actually dating outside your race and your family and if you are that's huge because in most of those cases you don't have anybody else that's kind of supporting you or understand it yeah so just just know people are gonna have opinions yes like, if you are in a family, you are in a family. Yeah. <laughs> they are going to have opinions. And, and they are also going to have opinions based on what they have experienced yeah. in life. So especially an older generation, think they come from a different time. So they could be vocalizing their opinions from their own fears and their own experiences. Yeah. I know we definitely experienced that with family and it just later on as now everything has turned full circle and people cheer you on you know when you think back four years ago nobody was yeah. cheering us on and that's partially just because what we chose to do never was done before it was in never our done family, it's so. something outside the box and i think for a lot of families they just think they have their mind set on who you should be with yeah absolutely and the thing is, you can't let anybody's opinion determine your choices in life because you won't be living your life. You'd be living their life, life or their idea of what your life should be. And we all know that's no fun. Exactly. Nobody want to live someone else's life for you. And even thinking back to when, you know, we were, you know, in our dating times and there was just so much opinions all across the board about, okay, you're going to have to do this or you need to do that or mm -hmm. this won't work or that won't work. But... The thing is, you get to define all that stuff. You get an yes. opportunity. It's a clean slate. Your relationship, whether it's interracial or not, is no different than any other yeah, relationship. Yeah, this could be, even if you're watching this, yeah. like, if this it's is a relationship anybody. that 
that is being opposed by family and friends. You have to be so strong yeah. in your convictions of who you're with. And your love for each other. You gotta be really yes. know that I've got her back, she's got my back. We're and in this if together. If we're in it together, we could face any storm, we could face any kind of opinion that may come, but you know what? We're gonna do it together and we're gonna get through it yeah. because if we get through it, our love is gonna be the thing that's gonna work on everybody else's that had all these negative opinions. <laughs> it's gonna break down the wall to their heart. Absolutely. And next thing you know, they're gonna love you. They're gonna love that person that's different from them and they're gonna look at everybody else that's, that's so of that race differently just because of yeah. the love they saw you guys show. So you have an opportunity to just do something so awesome and set your yeah. family up for generations to come. So that's oh, why yeah. no, you that's, wanna stick I, with it. Yeah, you have to stick with it. I think um, for me, God was dealing with, helping me deal with a lot of people pleasing. Mm -hmm. And even the fear of opinion comes, it's a root of wanting to people please. Yeah. And uh, oh my gosh, I think I just heard a baby crying. Yeah. We'll be right back. Okay. okay. What I was saying is, about the opinions, I think the greatest thing you can do in your relationship is make sure you're spending time with the Lord and hearing what he is saying about oh, yeah. your relationship. That is going to be your anchor in the storm of opinions. If you already know, I got friends that are gonna say something. I got family yeah. that are gonna say something. Your confidence level is everything. People who who like love to throw darts can sniff out insecurities. Yeah. I, I feel like that's, I don't know. Like, oh yeah, and then people's commentary, there's, there's so much opinions and comments out there and if you let that sway you, you'll look like one of those boats that's just getting tossed. slammed by the wave. You're going left, you're going right, you don't even know. Da -da -da -da. You, and then, you know what? And you're doing that constant swinging left and right. And the people that are sending the comments and saying these things about it, they, they don't even phased. care. They ain't even phase. They ain't even thinking about you. But yet you're the one stressing. And, and you because you know what your heart is telling you. But then you're just so consumed by wanting to please people that you're not listening to your heart. And next thing you know, you're hating it. Ooh. You're hating life. You're feeling horrible about yeah, it. you feel Because trapped. you're not being true to who you are and true to who the Lord is telling you to be with. So That's so good. I... I I would say I, I mean, we'll have to tell you the whole story, but Frederick and I broke up and I yeah. really believe it was because of the pressure of opinions and the fear of not pleasing everyone around me. Yeah. And, and guess what? The six months we were broken up, I was miserable yeah. because I felt like I had no choice. And she knows she didn't have this no more. Mm, you know <laughs> it. <laughs> That's probably not why, but still. <laughs> That's what I tell myself. That's what I tell myself. Yeah, no, but that is so true. So I, it just feels like there's somebody out there that y'all are not making, are not moving, moving forward. forward because of a parent's disapproval and opinion yeah, or, your, or friends, your best friends. And, some just, relative, and I don't know. so think about like, think about the life you lived if you walked away from this person because you're afraid of opinions. Yeah. Absolutely, so, and that's actually a great yeah. segue into you swagway. Like the word segue. I love segue. <laughs> I don't like to ride them, but I like the word segue. I like a good segue. But anyway, a good transition to our next <laughs> fear that people often have when it comes to interracial dating, which is the fear of being rejected. Rejected, like flat out the opinions. Cut okay, off. that's fine, yeah. but like. Fine, I ain't gonna talk to you no more. Yeah, when you're getting rejected from the people that you might be closest to or the people you look up to, whether friends or relatives or family. Which uh, also happened to us as well. Yeah, you <laughs> feel that way, like you, you're so, there's so much pressure around you that you feel like if you were to choose this person, that everybody else will look at you like you did not choose them and they'll totally cut you like off you have to from choose everything and then you'll be in an like island by yourself. Exactly. As if. That as if your choice Zane threw yeah something. Zane just threw his <laughs> bottle but it's okay not his bottle his sippy cup yeah but anyway people want you so the pressure is so high that you feel like if you make one choice or the other you lose like it's a lose-lose situation but the exactly. way I like to look at it is actually a win-win because someone once told me when we we're in the height of our stuff that uh, opposition eh, they'll always come around they'll come yeah. around 
whether it's when you have grandkids or mm -hmm. whether when you get kids in the mix or with time with them seeing the love you have they yes. eventually will come around especially if this is someone that god told you to be with and you truly feel it you both are on the same page with that all opposition i mean it's it seems tough in the in the moment but believe us as we came we walk through that and we can see the other side we're on the other side of it now we're telling you it will all be worth it but you have to fight for what you feel the lord's telling yes. you and the relationship that you're in it's totally worth it just no. keep it on is, pressing it on is totally that. worth it i think people love to and you know you have to think people walk through their hurts and their fears themselves so whatever people are projecting on you you kind of really have to go is this about me mm -hmm. especially racial division yeah and racism in general if there is any racial prejudice you have to think like that is your heart and you have a root issue in your heart and really sit there and go hey maybe i should pray for this issue maybe i should pray for what you're dealing with yeah. why is my relationship causing you so much drama you have so much anger about so it much anger when i don't when i don't and the thing about Frederick and I I waited for a godly man to come along so I knew that spiritually we were like yes God was saying yes and and so you one check your relationship to see yeah, am I moving forward yeah. check like check to see okay I have the right reasons for being with this person and you love who you love and if people want to reject you because i'm choosing a, someone with a different skin color then That's you know what problem. that that is some that is crazy stuff and you need to move forward because that's going to bring freedom yeah. to maybe a generationally a, an issue that's happened for your family and it could be really deeply rooted and you could be the reason it all changes yeah, and usually times when and that people are... spirit is nasty. Oh, uh, you don't want that. But usually times when people are, <laughs> like, so angry about something, like, maybe dating outside of race, is because, they, like Jacqueline mentioned, you know, they may have had some past hurt or event happen in their life yeah. that kind of made them hate everybody of that race. And that's mm -hmm. probably just because they never had a friend that was of that race. Yeah. So you know that person that you're dating may end up letting them see things through a different pair of lenses and exactly. that's all that it really takes for you to look at a different per look at someone that's different than you differently or yeah. lovingly is to just have a relationship with someone that's of that race and exactly. that's literally the solution to so many things just make a friend of if you are and if you have something against a certain race even today go find your friend that's of that race or try to make yes. a build a relationship with someone of that race and i guarantee you'll never hate anyone of that race anymore absolutely that's some racial reconciliation right there yeah Just go find you some friends. we could go let's we'll, but that's another that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's whole a whole different another video thing. Yeah, that yeah. one day we will talk about yeah for um, sure and i guess another fear the third fear that uh, a lot of people have when it comes to interracial dating we kind of touched on it earlier but it's the fear of being uh, a pioneer or the first yeah, to do it. Yeah, which can happen like feeling alone. Yeah, because feeling you're alone in that. Well, if you're rejected by family and friends, you could definitely yeah. feel very alone you and could, alone in just feel like you celebrations. have to, no one's celebrating you. You feel like you're paving a way that hasn't been done. It's it's back breaking. You're, you're taking the hit. You're taking so many hits. But the thing is, you're taking hits for maybe if you have brothers or sisters, you're taking the hits that they won't have to take because exactly. they may end up following your lead and end up dating outside their race because they found someone they love. And because of the stuff you're doing now and the work you're putting in now, it's going to make it so much easier for them when they go through. You know, it ain't easy being the first. Yeah. It requires a lot of work and it's hard. And But... There's so much fruit that can come from that if you stick with it and do it. I, I think so. anything you do that God is asking you to do boldly and courageously um, can feel make you feel a little alone <coughs> at times. And um, yeah. I'm definitely getting distracted by him in the background. My ADD. I oh, know. I did not have ADD. What she's saying is it'll make you feel alone <laughs> like you're the only one. But 
truth be told, you're never the only one that's going through it. You know, even when we were going through our stuff and opposition or tension when it came to us dating and stuff, mm -hmm. you know, it's easy to think you're the only one, but as time went on, like the Lord started bringing people in our lives that were maybe further along than we were in their yeah. relationship that went through similar things that we went Absolutely. through in our as we were dating and dealing with opposition and stuff. And though it may not look exactly alike, mm -hmm. there were a lot of similarities as well. And yeah. that too gave us encouragement to continue to press on. And so we're trying to give you guys encouragement today to say, keep on going. See, Zane wants more snacks. But to tell you we guys, keep on, <laughs> keep on going. Like, well, you can do yeah. it. You, you like, have to keep on going. And then, like, one more thing I wanted to say before we get off. Oh, my gosh. If you are currently in a relationship, like we've been talking, and you're nervous about what your family and friends are going to say, you owe it to the person you're dating to not be embarrassed and not be ashamed and to not hide that person. Ooh, that's a good one. I, I had to come back for that. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. If you constantly post on Instagram, you yeah. need to post that person on Instagram. Yeah. You need to show Bold. up to family events with that yes. person and holidays and be confident because that person, that is love. That is like. Yeah, and that person loves you. That person's there for you. Like, don't be ashamed. Post that person on the gram in your stories, wherever it is, put on Facebook. Constantly, look at that, you see that mom look right there? Can you That's see me? That's a mom look. That's <laughs> yeah. such a mom look. I just like. Yeah. Okay. Also, had we not moved forward, yeah, this Yeah, this would not be happening right would now. Would not have happened, and I look back at myself and think that the enemy tried to use these tactics yeah. of fear in opinions, rejection, being alone. But God reminded me constantly that he was with me and that he would fight these battles. Yes. And so remember, if, you, if you're experiencing this, turn to the Lord, dig in in prayer and time with him, pray together as yes. a couple and remind yourself that you are surrounded by God and all his armies yes. and stop getting distracted by all of these all things the that opinions we or the rejection and the other fears that come we didn't list them all there's so many but we just focus on a few yeah. of the main ones that keep coming up in conversation with others and people that talk to us and ask <laughs> us about our story and kind of going through similar things but you can it do will, it it will keep you trapped yeah confused. absolutely and you won't, even you won't even make a move. You, <laughs> you won't will be so stuck move. in the middle just wondering like, should I do it? Should I not do it? Should we keep going? Should, should we, we not keep going? Should we? Should we? And think about people's opinions change by the second. Yeah, it goes with the one weather. One minute they love you, man. One minute they hate you. you. So. so don't let them dictate your life. You, you let the Lord dictate it. your life. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> like, make more mix, baby. Yes. You know. But hopefully this after, video after the ring though. Yeah. But we hope this video helped you guys. You know we we love this type of topic. Obviously we live this topic. This is one of our favorite topics here, exactly. and we have so much more to say about it. But and this is also for you, just dating and yeah, general. absolutely. Even if you're you're you know you have someone your family doesn't prove of, and you know that God is for it. Just remember, God's for it. And who can be against? Who can be? against you <laughs> but anyway. okay well guys we love hanging out with you yes in this weird internet world seriously <laughs> this awesome internet world so don't forget to subscribe to our channel we have yep. a lot more content coming and we'll be talking more issues more relationships and, more relationship. and if there's any topic that you would like yeah. to talk about let us know us to talk about let us know but hit that subscribe button i think it's right there Maybe. Sling her in there. Somewhere oh around there. Oh my gosh. Are we going to be those people that go, No, we're doing it. Doing it's it. right it's there. So hit the button, subscribe, and we'll see you soon. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye, guys.